Hi everyone, I hope you're having fun at this party. I'm having fun reading some of these game answers and getting to know some of you just a little bit better. Now, I'm a busy mom, you're busy, so I'm gonna make this super quick. Guess what? My dinner's gonna be ready in less than 15 minutes. Okay, about 15 minutes. So what we have here, let me turn this down just a little bit. And I have my bell peppers. I have an onion. I have a package of chicken breast, which I'm totally not using all of those. I sent my husband out to get them and he bought me like apparently the biggest package. And two taco seasoning mixes. I like taco seasoning way better than the fajita mix. This just has a little bit more flavor than the fajita mix does. I don't know what it is about the fajita mix. Just not a big fan of. So I have my chef's knife, which I love, 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 love. I use my loser fingers on the emblem so I can balance it and I don't lose a finger. I know, I'm corny. You have to keep in mind, I teach kindergarten, so I have to be witty and funny. If not, I lose my kids. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean these up with you guys. And what I'm doing is I'm just slicing the tops. Here's that scoop. And I'm just going to scoop into my bowl, look. And done. One. Like, I love this little tool. There's two. Oh my gosh, I'll make it. There's the third one. This is my garbage bowl for the day, for the night. So I have both of my tools out. I know my videos and my posts today had the cut and slice, the quick slice, I'm sorry, the quick slice. I like it, but for my fajitas, I'm a bigger fan of the quick, the simple slicer. And it has three settings on it. The one, I don't know if you can see if I can angle it, one, which has a little small slit, a two, and a three, which is a bigger opening. There we go. So I usually do it a two, and I'm gonna show you how I use the simple slicer. I like this one, I'm gonna use both of them, but I really am a bigger fan of the simple slicer. And I have my deep covered baker. I'm gonna slice right in it. Let me get the right, there we go. And all my bell peppers are uniformly cut. Look at how thin those are. So if it comes with a guard, use the guard. Like seriously, if it comes with a guard, you are meant to use the guard. Like I cannot stress enough, if it has a guard, use it. All good. All done. So I hope someone's timing me so you can see how fast this is going to go. Again, there. Bell peppers. Three bell peppers. All sliced. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice my onion. But I need to clean it up first. I'm just gonna cut off the end. And I don't know if how you peel, you peel an onion, but I just keep going just to be safe and that I have all of the skin and peel off of it. So let me know how far you go. Like I see I'm starting to peel another layer. Just what I do. I peel onion all the way down. So 
you place it in. Crunch. Am I sideways? I'm totally I'm sideways. There we go. Now the onion, I switched it down to a one because I, even though it gets cooked up, Look at these onions. Look at those onions. So thin. Okay, so onions are in, bell peppers are in. And I'm only gonna put, like, oh my gosh, these are really such, such big boobs. Big chicken boobs. I'm gonna put four chicken breasts in here. That leaves two more that I gotta put back in the freeze. Let me wash my hands because I hate the touch of meat. Yep, that's my dog. There's Pearl. There's Pearl. Okay. I use two packets because I like more flavor. You can use one. You can use two. Done. Let's see if I can tilt you some more got a new little stand. So again, this is my second taco mix. What are some of your chick, uh, chicken kitchen problems? What are, what are some of your dilemmas getting dinner on the table? That's it. Four chicken breasts. Three bell peppers. One onion. 15 minutes 15 minutes that's it so while that's cooking I want to show you and I'm going to test this out because I'm going to a pumpkin carving contest or party this weekend it's a con it's contest and I want to test out my scoop loop with this pumpkin so this is not a carving knife should nicely cut. So while my fajitas are cooking, oh, there it goes. Ooh. This poor little pumpkin would have never lasted. It totally just died with this knife. Probably should have used a smaller knife. Okay, so I'm gonna test out the scoop loop. Pumpkin guts. I'm gonna use the small end of my scoop loop. And now I just switched it to the big side. I'm afraid if I drop something, one of the dogs will come eating it, thinking it's a cat that you eat. What can I do to help you get dinner on the table? Is it time? Is it just a recipe? I hear the, you hear the dogs walking. Hey Pearl. You hear the, the scraping going on? It's scraping on the inside. It's scraping. I'm just gonna slice this a little off, these guys off. You know, I like the smell of fresh pumpkin, but I cannot, cannot, will not eat anything pumpkin flavored at all. Like, I think it's repulsive. Call me crazy, I know. Time to roll up these sleeves. Well, I really appreciate everybody that clicked going. Maybe this works on a bigger pumpkin because this guy is really little. My hand is quite Hulk. So those of you watching, 
How do you know our host? How do we know Miss Joy? Nobody? Nobody biting? Yeah, this one's little. My hand's like way too big. I should have bought a bigger pumpkin to demo on. I mean, it's getting clean in there. Those walls are getting clean. left on those fajitas which means it took less than five minutes to get this most of this clean most of it's clean this handy dandy little guy worked just maybe not on such a small pumpkin I'm like my Whole cans. I'm having a hard time getting in there. I think this was like one of those pie pumpkins. It's okay, I've got another little guy for decoration in my kitchen. watch this video for me I'd like for you to comment how you know our host help me get to know you better Voila. it's pretty good pretty good so now to get rid of all this and evidence of deathly pumpkins guy's gonna go in the dishwasher. Why do you guys stand on top of me, huh? You know I'm trying to cook something. Huh? Why do you guys, these guys, there's one. And there's a little guy. Move, move Rocky. You hear the little clinks, clinking claws? I can already smell that now. These are my salad choppers. They have never seen a salad, ever. I use them for chopping my meat, shredding my chicken. We do chicken tacos, um, fajitas. I just, it's just so easy to chop, chop, chop. Oh, I was looking for that scoop. inside of this pumpkin is super clean now. I think it's pretty clean. I'm making a mess as you can see flying pumpkin guts. Imagine a big pumpkin. I can get my hand, my big old hands in. Ta -da! I need to find a recipe to use this guy. There's got to be a soup. Does anybody have no other recipe that they want to share? What they would make in a pumpkin? I don't know because I don't eat pumpkin. 
Fresh pumpkin smells really good. In fact, the Chicago Skyway smells like pumpkin sometimes, which is really weird. When I take out my fajitas, I'm gonna use my little grips. I think they're like $7, between five and $7 on our, in our catalog. My, my three-year-old loves playing with these. He runs around the house because they're fun to shake and clap. Nope, I am not making pumpkin seeds. It's just too much, too much. So let me clean this up because while your food is cooking, you could have had this whole area cleaned. Which I don't have a big mess, it's just on my placemat or my cutting board, which I love these from our, from our catalog as well. They think they're making food for them. What did I use? One. I used. Oh, there goes my lid. The deep covered baker and my cutting board. I didn't really make. Spread myself out. So I don't have a big mess to clean up. And when I make dinner, somebody has to do dishes. Those are like the rolls. Do anybody else have rolls like that at home? I make dinner, you clean. Let's see, we've got five minutes, you guys. I'm gonna put these guys in a Ziploc bag. The two remaining chicken breast. Same dogs heard the thought. use my grill pan on these guys wash me uh, and I'll make something else with them because I love the grill pan do you want me to see you want to see me to use the grill pan let me know and I'll use that grill pan with these chicken breasts Ta -da. my area is clean like I'm done this is good Did our pumpkin, which I liked my results. I'm just gonna make a little face on him and will not use my chef's knife to make a face because this knife was pretty massive and like invasive on this pumpkin. I mean, this pumpkin, like, what I would probably use is my little paring knife, my little kid's knife in the kid's kitchen collection. Oh, those fajitas smell so good. Let's see. They smell delicious. Again, it didn't take any time to get them done. You're in a rush? Throw it in the microwave. You can get something else done. Tomorrow my students and I were doing a pumpkin investigation. How fun is that? I will not be taking my sharp knives though. Like that will be a no. But we'll be cutting it and we'll be investigating the inside. Look, look at the little mouth. my short notice pumpkin oh man those smell so good I'm gonna use my trivet get my trivet ready so when I put my deep covered baker down I don't want to put it down straight on my counter I'm 
going to stop it here. It's got two more minutes to go. But, where'd my other little lobster claw go? You the kid. Did you just take it, Rocco? You did. Hey, scoot over, scoot over. Mm, yep, she found that pumpkin seed. You see this? I'm gonna take a quick cut. Just to make sure my chicken breast is. And it's not, so guess what? I'm gonna put it back in for those last few minutes. I think because these chicken breasts are really big. Yeah, and I blame my husband for picking up those chicken breasts. So I'm gonna put them back in. three more minutes to it. Hey, Joy. Just hear the dog. There's nothing for you here. There's nothing. There's a puppy here. Come on. Let's say hi. No. Come on. <laughs> hey. She's trying to jump up. Hey, Rox. <laughs> and here comes Pearl. Pearl. Pearl, get her. Usually she'll stop on her. She'll sit on her. Did you just pull down my napkins? Hmm? She smells dinner and it smells really good. So you can get tortillas out while these are done cooking. I thought we had some tortillas in here. Oh, here they are. You can add sour cream. You can grate cheese. And they should take, it says to microwave the tortillas. I don't think so. That's a no-no. In our household, that microwaving tortillas is a no-no. Go, go. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 girls, go. They get so anxious when they smell dinner. You add sour cream. You can do guacamole. You can use the manual food processor to make the guacamole in. It takes about five minutes. Add avocado, some red onion, some lime juice, um, jalapeno, and cilantro. One, two, three, and it's done. I know that recipe that's online doesn't um, ask for tomatoes in it. Some, hello, some guacamole has tomatoes in it. It's almost done now. You girls done bothering me? Don't. They want to just jump on top of me. Go away. Go, go. Shoo, shoo. Go. Does anybody else have dogs or animals that come in the kitchen while you're cooking? It's the story of my life. I'm just going to heat some tortillas up for my husband and the baby. <laughs> Demon. I'm gonna turn that tortilla. Hey, out of the way, out of the way. <sighs> now I'm gonna use the meat, the golden slice. I'm going to put them back in. 
I can't tell if it's juice. And guess what? It's not that long. But it's all the veggies are cooked. There's liquid in here. Yeah, I didn't even add any liquid. If you were watching the video from start to finish, I added no liquid. None whatsoever. And there's a ton of its own liquid from the vegetables, from the chicken itself. So here it goes. We're going to go back in for three. Again, these breasts were really big. At the end of the party, I'm going to be posting a link that is a survey, and I would really appreciate the feedback on it. That way I can grow. Being as a teacher, I learn from grow, I grow from learn, um, from feedback. So I find out what works well and what didn't work, what needs to be improved, and what do I need to keep. I like making my recipes online and showing you that it's not perfect. Those chicken breasts had to go back in. And that's gonna happen. Um, I'm human. And I'm still gonna get my meal in less than 20 minutes on the table for my family. I've heated up some tortillas already on the stove. And now my chicken is, re is finally fin is finished cooking. Hi girls. Oh, I made eye contact and now they're back at me. I have nothing for you. I'm gonna give her a tortilla. They must be Mexican because they love tortillas. <laughs> I usually give them the burnt ones. But they still think they're good tasty treats. Right girls? Right girly? Right girls? Rawr, 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 rawr. No. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> What's the matter, huh? Go get it. Go get it. They don't fall for that trick. They don't they know I'm not throwing anything at them. That's right. And then Pearl Rocky will try to eat my hand. She's not my favorite right now because she just ate another pair of my flats. Yeah, we're not really friends right now. All right, one minute. Oh, this deep cover maker is so pretty. Did you know our stoneware is made in Texas? I found that out at conference. That our stoneware is made in Texas. Oh yeah, we're cooked. We're totally cooked. You hear that sizzling? Oh yeah. So now here comes the fun part. The chopping. I'm gonna hold you with one hand. I hope you guys can see and are not too foggy. And you have shredded veggies, shredded chicken, It's really piping hot, isn't it? It's piping hot. But that's a good thing. Our stoneware is phenomenal. Like, it can go in the oven. Um, it gets seasoned, which means it gets better and better and better with, more, with each and every single use. Look how, look at that. Look at that. This is definitely, I like to make these on Sundays and take fajitas to work. I'm trying to get back on that healthy train, but instead I'm on that struggle bus. And this is definitely one of those really healthy meal prep meals. Onions, taco seasoning, fajitas, um, bell peppers, and chicken. Now to make it better, I wouldn't take tortillas with me. i just heat it up and eat it there at work like that. There you have it guys, rush hour fajitas. It was less than 20 minutes. 
I had really big chicken boobs. It took a little longer to cook. Look at that. Everything is chopped. Let me see if I can get this camera flipped this way. Look at that. Family will be fed. All right, guys, we're going to go eat dinner, and I hope you're going to go eat dinner. Let me know if I can help you, and I will talk to you guys later.